Day 3 is upon us and we start off the next marathon day with a little something that relates to a TV show that was on the era of Toon Disney. And if you don't remember what Toon Disney is, then let me quickly explain what Toon Disney is. Toon Disney was in fact the what Disney XD is now. It played a lot of the old Disney content and it played a lot of stuff from that era. It played a lot of Care Bears, it played a lot of the Disney Afternoon content, and it had hosted a lot of shows on there. And one of the subjects is being of today's program, that relating to House of Mouse. And besides that, I enjoy uh, House of Mouse growing up. It is one of my few favorite cartoons growing up. And besides that, whenever I wasn't, like, you know, tuning in to Goof Troop or Rescue Rangers or, what is it, uh, Tailspin on Toon Disney, I always found myself, like, watching House of Mouse on Toon Disney, which is pretty much the one of the few enjoyable, like, programming on there. Well, other than the most silliest of cartoons on there, Yin Yang Yo, or, like, Dave the Barbarian, which, I don't know, I'll take a look at, like, um, one of those. Maybe I might take a look at Goof Tube Christmas Special sometime later, but that all depends. Anywho, we're gonna talk about our little special today, which is a little something called Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed In at the House of Mouse. Which is obviously based on the Toon Disney, I would say, compilation series, House of Mouse. But I don't even know. Because it's been a long time since I've seen House of Mouse. And it, and for those that don't remember House of Mouse, House of Mouse, if I recall it, essentially Mickey Mouse and his friends hosted what I would say was a nightclub hosted which held, like, a bunch of the old, like, Disney cartoon characters. So, it had, like, Bambi, Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, you name it, at this, like, club or whatever. And they showed, like, the old and modern cartoons in here. So, in this, they thought, why not? They made, like, a House of Villains one, which is a Halloween-themed one, so, they decided, why not? Let's make a Christmas one. And this one lasts about an hour, so it made for good choice for the 28 Days Marathon. In this, we have the fact that it's snowing at the House of Mouse, and unfortunately, everyone's stuck there. And, of course, everyone has to figure out what to do. So, in a smart decision, they decide to host a party. But unfortunately, Donald Duck decides that he's got the Christmas humbug in him. As, of course, Mickey and his friends try to figure out what to do to cheer him up. And in this, they try to get everyone to pitch in by showing him a bunch of cartoons, even the old ones, like uh, Pluto's Christmas Tree, even a rendition of the Nutcracker, which has got me interested in showing you uh, 1986's The Nutcracker, not talking about the Nutcracker featuring Macaulay Culkin. But also, they also, like, talk about what people wish for for the holidays and what gets them comfortable around the holiday season. But things don't go according to plan as Mickey tries to figure out what will make, you know, Donald Duck happy around the holiday season. I am surprised that even for this one-hour special that I saw for the first time, that they were able to do something with it. And, you know, for a long time that I've ever seen House of Mouse, that it's pretty much how I remembered it. It's Mickey Mouse hosting a bunch of cartoons, them, like, getting themselves into crazy scenarios, and, of course, hosting a bunch of various skits, almost like, you know, the Disneyland series or whatever. Even ho even getting Ludling Von Drake for it. And, yes, I did know about the Disneyland series from, like, the 1950s and 1960s. 
I do watch Turner Classic Movies, Treasures from the Disney Vault, so I know what it is. So, in the long end, they get Donald Duck into the Christmas spirit, and then the other half of the series, like 30 minutes into it, they wind up actually, believe it or not, playing Mickey's Christmas Carol in the other half of the special, and that's how the special ends. They play Mickey's Christmas Carol for the other half of it, and it ends there. Like, I was planning to actually do Mickey's Christmas Carol through the 28 days, but now that they played it and in this little special, I've got no chance to uh, talk about it now. Guess I'll talk about it here. In one of the many adaptations of Mickey's, in one of the many adaptations of Charles Dickens' novel, A Christmas Carol, this one here, Mickey's Christmas Carol, is probably one of the ones that I really like the most, and probably one of the ones that you have to at least been one you've got to at least know as a kid, or at least have been exposed to early in your life. I know I have, but in this one, Mickey's Christmas Carol, it, they try to take a lot of the story and compress it down to 30 minutes. And for what Disney does with the story, they did a fine good job doing it. In it, uh, Alan Young, bless his soul, rest in peace, um, he plays Scrooge McDuck, who's playing Ebenezer Scrooge. And he, you know him, he's the grumpiest man on earth, he doesn't believe in the holiday spirit, and it's been like seven years since Jacob Marley has passed away. And unfortunately, he treats his business associate, uh, Cr Bob Cratchit, like dirt. He doesn't treat him too very well, he makes him do his laundry, only gives him a few couple of shillings and a halfpenny. It isn't until one night where he winds up getting visited by his old formal partner, Jacob Marley, that from that point, he winds up getting visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, that he winds up being shown that he must change, otherwise, the future for not only his past, but also his, but uh, what is for his present and his future will be hell. And this is where I just love it. I mean, for the emotion they packed in this, it is one of the finest there is. It is, I mean, they have just packed so much into this. I just give the people that made this a huge round of applause that they actually did something with uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. And for being one of the earliest ones that I've ever seen, they did a fine good job. I mean, I'd watch this every year around December and even accidentally around New Year's Day, but even I enjoyed it around New Year's Day. It's one of my favorites, and it still continues to be the event to this day. If I had a top three Christmas carols, I'd say it's this, Scrooged, featuring Bill Murray, and the version with George C. Scott as Ebenezer Scrooge. I forget the year that it came out, but I remember the one with George C. Scott. So, so apologies if this one appears to be short. I... I am a bit busy, especially with um, trying to um, get everything done with, you know, the 28 Days Marathon. But I also have a bit of a meeting with a, a studio right now. I can't disclose the name right now. But I also have to plan the next convention vlogs intro. But also, I've got to plan the next... Um, the next days ahead because I don't want to try to make I don't want to try and improv a lot of these but I also want to try to see if 
you the watchers can at least get me a request or two in. Promise me that. Okay? So, with that in mind, um, I will be back with another 28 days episode, but hopefully this one will be a bit bigger. Um, so, see you guys tomorrow for another episode. So, see you then.